Jesus did not pray that his followers would be diverse. He prayed that they would be one. Modern revelation does not say, be diverse, and if ye are not diverse, you are not mine. It says, be one, and if ye are not one, ye are not mine. Since diversity is a condition, a method, or a short-term objective, not an ultimate goal. Whenever diversity is urged, it is appropriate to ask, what kind of diversity? Or diversity in what circumstances or condition? Or diversity in furtherance of what goal? This is especially important in our policy debates, which should be conducted not in terms of slogans, but in terms of the goals we seek and the methods or shorter-term objectives that will achieve them. Diversity for its own sake is meaningless and can clearly be shown to lead to unacceptable results. For example, if diversity is the underlying goal for a neighborhood, does this mean we should take affirmative action to assure that the neighborhood includes thieves and pedophiles, slaughterhouses and water hazards? Diversity can be a good method to achieve some long-term goal, but public policy discussions need to get beyond the slogan to identify the goal, to specify the proposed diversity, and to explain how this kind of diversity will help to achieve the agreed goal. 